Okay, everybody, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here, but uh, I figured while I'm doing it, I might as well kind of document it, I guess. But I am changing the exhaust on the Kuros. Uh This is what I had done before myself. So this is just a, a three inch turn down that someone would put on their, you know, their, their car, truck, whatever. Uh, usually some kind of performance vehicle that after the muffler they have a turn down right in front of the exhaust or something like that. Uh, I mean, right in front of the rear, I mean. Um, but this is just a, a three inch turn down. Uh, this is the factory header pipe that I'm taking loose. Uh, this is where the, the catalyst converter is. And if I was to pull this off, You'll see that just where on the factory pipe where the piece would come out from the other side over here and shoot to the you know to the other side, bolts here. Um I'll take that right there loose too, matter of fact. But anyway, um I cut the converter just on the front side of where that piece goes across. Um got the converter and I bought this piece and then inside here you can't see it, you know. Like, no. Anyway, uh, inside there I have uh, a baffle that is from uh, Schoenfeld. Schoenfeld, uh, I don't know, Schoenfeld Performance, Schoenfeld Headers, Exhaust, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Schoenfeld, they have a, a, a header baffle insert that I bought. Uh, I have in my truck that's over there, Green Bean. Uh, Y'all familiar with that on the channel. Um, but the same header inserts I have in there plus the mufflers I have on it have the same style just like the header inserts uh, I bought it for this too. It gave a pretty cool tone. Uh, didn't really quiet down a lot but it, it gave it a different tone and uh, anyway so I'm going to take this off and I believe I'm doing it because when I had it tuned uh, this short side exit pipe with not much restriction um, it, it hurt my power and torque so I'm going to uh, uh, you see the right here and there the muffler i'm going to a, a two into one out the back uh it's a shark road four inch um i don't know how much you can see but it's a, it's a nice straight through design Let's see if you can see down through there yeah, you can see it so it's a good straight through design uh, hopefully it still got some volume to it. I, I, I like the loudness. Um, I, I, I like, you know, my Harley Davidson to be heard. So, uh, but anyway, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to have the same effect as, as the short pipe where there's no real back pressure. I think I'm, I should be all right with that, but it's not a megaphone. Uh, I do have a megaphone muffler downstairs I've had on the other, no, had on this bike at one time too, a Sark Road actually. Uh, set when I had the duels out the back still, but so this is what I'm doing. I'm changing my exhaust um, and See how it does man um, Right now, that's another thing too. I got it tuned at a place uh, Bayside down in Portsmouth, Virginia um, It's got the what's that uh, power vision uh, Tuner, but I don't have the tuner. It was a thing where they have it. They got the license to use it on multiple bikes whatever connections to do that and uh, It was I think 250 bucks to uh, Hook their tuner to my bike to tune it but I don't really recommend that to anyone because Now you don't have a tuner still you pay 250 bucks, but you don't have a tuner So if you don't like the tune or if you change something whatever then you either have to go back there or you have to go somewhere else that does the same thing or whatever. So it kind of limits you uh, on who can tune it. So um, I recommend getting a tuner, having the tuner with you, with your bike, whatever. And then, um, you know, that way if you ever change anything, um, yeah, if you ever change anything, then uh, I'm sorry, I just got a message coming in. So anyway, um uh, yeah, if you ever change the thing, you know, you have the tuner and all, all you do is go get tuned. Um, you know, or like I, I have a Vance and Hines FP3. Um, the guy, when he tuned it at the shop with the power vision, they actually got like 10 more horsepower than what the FP3 was giving me. Uh, and I know that the FP3, the tune wasn't right. I had it down in Daytona for bike week. And the FP3, I mean, uh, Vance and Hines, um, 
display vendor whatever out there they took and they did some kind of tuning on it and they locked me out of it where I couldn't mess with it and I'm gonna tell you that thing did not it may have spit back through the, the uh, through the intake and just it, it ran all right but it just man it just smelled like it was rich all the time and it just it wasn't a good tune um, so I want to do something different uh, my next my next thing after the exhaust uh, I got the cam in it and all that so uh, the next thing with the exhaust is going to be um, uh, the next thing is going to be I'm going to get the probably the TTS tuner and uh, over here in Lynchburg Virginia uh, my buddy has you know, pretty good connection with, with that crew that's there so uh, he he has a, a 2017 I think it is uh, street glide special with the 107 that 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 Harley Davidson shop did a 114 big bore kit which with the you know I have a 114 on mine but it's a little different setup. He has a little bigger bore, shorter stroke than what the, the, a factory 114 has. And um, he has that done. I think it's some Screaming Eagle heads on it. Um, don't know what all, you know, what they consist of. And he has, a, um, I think it's a star. Like a 572 or 575 or something like that lift cam in that thing. And uh, that thing runs good. It runs real good, and uh, you know I think I inspired him to get that done because this old 114 would just walk away from his 107, and uh, I don't think he liked that too much. So he had that thing built uh, at that dealership in Lynchburg, Virginia, and uh, that thing runs good. You know he, he he walks away from me now, so you know of course it's, we're gonna have a little friendly competition. But uh, so my first step is to get you know, change my exhaust and see what that does when I get it tuned, and. Uh, the, the cam I have is supposed to be somewhere around the 130 in torque and 120 in horsepower, maybe a little more on each, you know, 124 and 132 or, or something like that. Um, I also intend on doing a, a, a 132 big bore kit on this at some point. Uh, but when I do that, I got to change the throttle body and I got to um, change the injectors. But uh, those things, that, you know, they will happen. But I think getting the exhaust to prepare for that was my next step so but anyway um uh, i'm gonna do a video at some point too with my stereo i'm gonna let y'all see what all it is um i'm gonna tell you now it is ridiculously loud uh very clear very loud and um uh, i'll do a video to share that with you all and um you know maybe it's something that you all want to do with, with y'all's bikes or uh in the, the company that i in you know, the brand that i'm using in the stereo equipment which i have everything is the same brand except for the factory head unit um with you know I, I wired everything up using good quality wires and uh, i mean I, I did a pretty good job on it and it, it, it shows in the, the sound of it but anyway i'll share that with you all in another video so i'm gonna get back at this thing uh, i'll try to take, take some videos you know as the progress goes along if there's any issues i see i'll try to document it and share it with you all but uh i've changed an exhaust on a 09 street glide that i had years ago uh wasn't like to it just removing just removing the floorboard on this side i'm probably i don't know i don't really i hope i don't have to but i might have to remove um the fairing on this side but i'm hoping not uh because of my speakers the wire you know speaker that's in it and the wire going out to the speaker and uh i hope i don't have to mess with that but uh you never know i might have to so anyway uh i'll date it and uh, then i'll share this thing a little later either today or tomorrow so anyway later all right, y'all. Uh, I got the exhaust on. I'm gonna show it to you. I haven't cranked it up yet, so y'all be hearing it for the first time, just like me. Um, doesn't look bad. There's some a little bit of fitness uh, things that I'm gonna tell you. So this is the Shark Road, um, four inch. It's the black. You know, it's got uh the black dust covers on it. Um, it's a pretty straight through muffler. They have another one that I've seen that actually has uh, um, just a tiny little hole out the back. And I guess it's like for a torque, maybe a stock application, whatever, uh, for something that, that you want a little more performance out of. I'm, I would say that that's probably what the one I have is perfect for. It's not a megaphone. It doesn't, you know, get bigger as it uh, goes to the rear. But uh, it's a straight through design. Uh, I think it's like a two or two and a, probably two and a half inch, I think, uh, straight through design. Um, anyway, I'm gonna crank it up, but I'm gonna let y'all see it. So, 
the fitment issues the fitment issues um, is the little the y piece right here once i tightened everything up maybe i could loosen up the covers on the two pipe head pipes to make this fit better i don't know maybe i'll try that at some point but um i did a couple things backwards i, I put it on i bolted all the pipe on the muffler on then i realized that some of the clamps need to be put on prior to that so if y'all do an install like this just make sure like the the bracket that holds the pipe here to the uh block um uh, the muffler clamp and make sure you have the muffler clamps and all that stuff everything facing down to where you can come from the bottom to tighten up um and that goes for most of the uh hose clamps that hold the dust cover I mean, the heat shields on i keep saying dust covers uh heat shields um make sure you aim you, know, you put them in the right way that way it's easiest and they can stay hidden uh, you can probably see right up under there you can see the tip of the bolt of the muffler clamp i got it facing the wrong way so at some point i'll end up removing the muffler and i'll do something different the other thing is i wanted to change the direction of this i wanted to, to spin the tip down so it's kind of flush in a way um the top bolt that you see right there uh, that top bolt came out but i couldn't get the bottom one out i ended up stripping the, the thing in the bottom one where the allen head won't go anymore so i guess i'm kind of stuck with it being like that so but that's it uh i'm gonna crank this thing up and see what she sounds like so let me see make sure my stereo ain't, ain't gonna do nothing with me here like so i'll do something on the stereo another time ah wait a minute i gotta go get my key so uh bear with me for a second i gotta get the key be back all right i'm back so when i say key you know what i mean fob fob is the main the main thing anyway uh should be a neutral uh let me see here I'm going. let me see oh yeah i have a, another issue with this thing i'll share with y'all here in a little bit all right turn that all the way down uh should be a neutral. Got me a, a, a Galaxy Z Flip 4, the phone I have. So I, I'm able to bend it in half. And I'm gonna set it down here. Let y'all hear it from back here. too bad um i had a vibration too it's kind of weird when i did the um the short muffler on the side i mean short pipe on the side coming out the side exit um it sounded great i didn't notice it at first but i did something or i went to a heavier clamp because the clamp i was using right um right here um i ended up putting that one on and i, I used the regular hose clamp but it wouldn't tighten down enough and it was leaking right there at that, that part and it would backfire out the pipe 
when I uh, would let off of it or between gears or whatever. And I ended up buying that heavy duty clamp that I could tighten down on that thing with. And when I did, I, had, I noticed that my clamp was hitting my frame. So I moved that whole section back about inch and a half, two inches. And with that heavier clamp, and with that being moved back like around two inches, um, that made a vibration come in on the bike. Uh, it wasn't hitting nothing because I moved it back to clear the frame, but it caused a vibration right around 2,800 to 3,000 RPMs. That was just incredible. I couldn't believe it. And uh, I thought something else had been happen you know, had happened. And I took it to the hauler dealership in Lynchburg, and they said, hey, I think it's because your exhaust isn't supported in the rear. Um, it's too long. So I ended up moving that section back forward to where it originally was, but kept the clamp back some and rotated the clamp down. And I hated it because I could see that, that bolt. Uh, but uh, when I did that, the vibration almost disappeared. It wasn't quite all the way gone. So now with this being supported back here, like it's supposed to be, uh, hopefully that vibration is gone. So the other thing I had to do when I did this, you see right here too, that's something I'm gonna change at some point also, because I don't like seeing that clamp right there. So that's what I'm saying, make sure you, when you do it, if you do it, make sure you point the clamps in the right direction, that way you don't see stuff like that. Um, but the other thing, uh, the kit comes with spacers to space your, your floorboard out, um, with the longer bolts and all to come with it, um, which is great. Uh, don't mind it at all. And I bought the, the kit that I bought didn't have that tip on it. This is a different tip than what I asked for. But I don't care. Uh, see the eagle on the license plate right here is uh, silver. So maybe that'll kind of blend in with that silver ring. I was hoping for the all black deal. But, you know, it is what it is. Maybe at some point I can buy the other one if I choose to. But uh, I think I'll be all right with this one. I do want to rotate that. So I want to get that other bolt out. Uh, get another boat for it, spin it around. I'll do that at some point. Um, of course, can't just spin the whole muffler around because the mountain bracket part on it. But huh, my antenna's just wobbly. Um, anyway, you hear the cam. That is, uh, all right, this is a 2020 Road Glide Special uh, with the 114 in it. Uh, you saw the, the air cleaner that's a uh, Screaming Eagle. Uh, high flow filter and all uh dirty <laughs> needs to be clean but uh the cam is the the woods night prowler uh 22 xe is what the cam is and uh the thing runs good um that's like i said at some point i'm gonna do a uh the 132 big four kit for it uh it's gonna cost me about two grand for everything you know the the, the throttle throttle body the injectors and the big bore kit, I'll, I'll end up doing it all myself. Anyway, I just want to show you what I did, what I got going on here, and uh, hopefully uh, when I get this thing retuned again, I'll get more out of it. Because um, I was a little disappointed with the numbers it gave me with uh, that side pipe on there, which uh, I think it was like 119 in torque and 109 in horsepower. And um, the cam, you're supposed, I'm supposed to get at least 10, 10 more horsepower and at least 10 more Put down the torque with it, and I think that pipe was hurting me. Uh, that's what the tuner said, also. But uh, I don't know, we'll find out. <laughs> so I'll get it retuned and I'll let y'all know what the numbers are. Uh, if maybe at, at the end of this, uh, I think about it. I got the, the dyno graph I have in there for it, and uh, hopefully that's something that uh, I can share with y'all on this video, also. And then, you know, later on when I get it tuned again, I'll do a comparison, show you both of them side by side or, or whatever, so you can see what the difference may be because of the, the pipe. But uh, anyway, until then, man, y'all take it easy. Later. Hey, y'all. Um, I'm getting ready to do the uh, create my uh, video or whatever to upload. And I wanted to speak on the exhaust install that I did with the, the Shark Road exhaust. I have been riding it for the past few days. Um, sounds great. Um, looks great on the bike. It's kind of funny that I, I did my own, uh, I built my own side exhaust uh, using the factory header pipe, but you know, I, I altered the, the converter, uh, added a three inch uh, turn down that most people would put on their cars or something like that. 
put a Schoenfeld header insert baffle in it, which you know sounded really really good. It just uh, it robbed power from me. Uh, I have a cam in it. It's the uh, Woods 22 XE Night Prowler cam, and I'm sorry I keep looking at the bike over here, but um, let me show you the bike there. So, oh, uh, oops. <laughs> uh, anyway, so. I just wanted to say that uh, the bike sounds good. It uh, it's got a nice rumble. I, I actually chose this exhaust and this muffler because I think this exhaust actually comes with a different muffler at some point too. Uh, one has a little more baffling in it. Uh, maybe it isn't this exact one. I'm not sure. Uh, that's something you'd have to get with Shark Road about. But I do recommend using them. Um, it looks great on a bike. The only thing that I want to do is I want to flip the uh, the tip on it. When I tried to do it, a bolt there's two bolts, one in the top and one in the bottom, that hold it in place. Uh, you can take the two bolts out and rotate it around. Um, I, I want it to be at the angle flush with the back of the bag. Uh, right now, the the longer tip part of it is on the top. Um, you know, my buddy said, hey, maybe that keeps water out of it. Um, I, I don't think water is going to be an issue with most of us. Uh, I don't think a lot of us keep our bikes uh, sitting out in the rain, uh, not covered or, or, or whatnot. So, uh, of course, riding it, whatever, it's going to, uh, if it doesn't push out the water, it's going to vaporize the water due to the heat of the exhaust. But, um, so one of the bolts, uh, didn't ring off it. Uh, it stripped out the inside where the Allen head goes. So I have to get creative and get that out. Fortunately, I have some other Shark Road mufflers that I have purchased in the past, uh, some megaphone ones. And I believe one of them would probably work right on here, but I don't really want the megaphone. I think that the pipe I have on, the muffler I have on it now, uh, is it actually feels good. I, I, I had a uh, Vance and Hines tuner on it, and for a while I wasn't happy with it. I couldn't get the thing to stop backfiring through the um, through the intake. Um, when you down you're downshifting and you're sitting at a light or something, you blip the throttle, it want to pop back through, and um, it was ir irritating me. So I had it tuned with the uh, Power Vision tuner, and when I got the numbers, it was Dyno tuned. I got the numbers. I was thinking it was a little low for what the cam and all was supposed to be. And I think it was like 109 in horsepower and 119 in torque. And this cam actually is supposed to produce better numbers than that. Um, somewhere in the like 124 horsepower and 135-ish in torque um, is what this cam is capable of in a 114 like I have. Um, but of course you gotta have the right breather and the right exhaust on it. Um, but anyway, when I put this cam in it, I had the Vance and Hines tuner on it and they sent me a tune and it, it ran ran okay it just it kept having that issue so i sent uh now i went to daytona bike week this year they had the vance and hines um vendor tent out there so i went there they redid the map uh locked me out of the map which i wasn't happy with because they uh they put the speed limiter back in it um i wasn't very happy with that you know it had to 112 or so limit on me but um of course i don't do that i don't go that fast you know, just so you know for the record <laughs> anyway um so the map that they initially gave me um because when i changed the exhaust on this thing to the shark road uh it was more baffling than what the exhaust that i had on there so it actually made it run pretty rich so I said I'm gonna switch back to the Vance and Hines for now until I can get it tuned again uh, this time I'm gonna use a different dealership to tune it because I wasn't happy with the other dyno tune um, may have been their fault maybe not I don't know um, but uh, I'm gonna use the, the TTS tuner and Lynchburg Virginia uh, there's a Harley Davidson shop there that I was going to let them do the tuning on it. But I wanted to be able to ride it now um, because that's, you know, they said it's a little over a thousand dollars, I think, to have it tuned by them, you know, buying the tuner and them tuning it, which I think, I think is a pretty good deal. 
a thousand and fifty dollars, I think. But um, I wanted to be able to ride it. I couldn't. I, I, don't, I can't really afford to get it tuned. You know, buy the tuner and get it tuned right away. So I wanted to enjoy my bike, and so I put the, the Vance and Hines tuner back on it, and I selected the initial tune they sent me, not the one they did in Daytona. And when I did that, um, man, the bike come to life. It's like the tune they sent me was meant for this combination. Um, thing runs great, and it feels more powerful than what it was before. Um, and I want to say that, that I want to thank the Shark Road exhaust for that. Because um, this is the same tune I had with the exhaust that I did. And it felt okay, but I noticed a big difference in it. So I'm kind of curious on what the numbers it may have right now. I'm kind of curious on what the numbers can be brought out of this thing with this exhaust on here. And once I do do that, I will let y'all know. Um, I did mention earlier in the video that there are some things that um, the process of an installation um, and that's nothing on Shark Road. Uh, the only thing I do wish that maybe there was instructions that come with it. Uh, I didn't get any instructions. Um, I didn't look online to see if they had any instructions for it. So if they do, you know, make sure you look for that. Um, but the exhaust, the big thing for me, a couple big things, I guess, was make sure that your hose clamps that uh, hold the heat shields on uh, are facing the right way to where you can get your uh, either screwdriver or a 5 16 uh, socket with, you know, ratchet with the little extension or whatever. Um, make sure you have them facing the correct way where they stay as out of sight as they can and still have access to them. Um, the other thing is the clamp for the uh, muffler. Make sure you put that on before you put the two bolts in the back that hang the muffler under the bag. Um, and make sure you have that clamp facing the right way. That way uh, there's no fighting with wrenches to get in to, to secure it. Um, so, yeah, just um, other than that, it, it was fairly easy. They got the the spacers to space out the um, the floorboard on on the right side of the bike because it needs to happen. You need to, to extend it out. It's I don't know three quarters of an inch or so. It might be an inch out, but I think it's about three quarters of an inch, something like that. Um, I didn't measure it, but um, you know, riding a bike, you don't notice that it's extended out. And the heat shields look great. Um, everything lined up well. The muffler lined up well. Uh, and I, I guess the other thing to say is leave everything a little loose until everything's in place. Once everything's in place, uh, you know, the muffler, the, the header pipe to the engine, um, just make sure everything is a little bit loose until everything's there and then tighten everything up. Uh, that'll make it so much easier. Um, anyway, uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, I'm, I'm actually thrilled with the exhaust. It actually sounds good. It has a, a nice deep rumble when you crank it up. When you hit the throttle, I think I showed you this in, the, in one of the videos, uh, it actually gets pretty loud. Um, and that's the thing I like. I kind of I like the loudness. The other pipe I had was pretty loud. I mean, it was almost like an open header on a car uh, with very, very slight baffling. But um, I loved it. I loved how it sounded. Mine was very unique because you couldn't buy that anywhere on market. But um, I still have it where if I ever chose to go back, I could. But it hurt my power so much, I just, I don't think I will. But, you know, you never know. Uh, maybe someone else I know wants it. You know, I, I can help them out. I don't know, who knows. But um, all in all, I am thrilled with the Shark Road exhaust, uh, the system that I have. I can't remember the number of it. Um, H. I don't know. I can't remember. I don't want to say it and, and be wrong. Um, tell you what, I'm going to end this right now. I'm going to go look at that. I'll come back and I'll say the part number for what it is. And that way it's in here. And uh, then I'll conclude and upload. All right, y'all. All right, I'm back. Uh, only took a couple minutes. The uh, part number is HDEX 07. 
B. Um, I think the chrome doesn't have the B on it, or maybe has a C on it, I don't know, but mine being it's the black, uh, it has a B on the end. So HDEX-07B. So it's the, um, the four inch muffler. Um, and it doesn't have the same tip as what was in the picture. That's another thing too. Uh, I'm not mad about that, but yeah, you know, I'd like to have had that tip. Um, it's kind of like a louvered looking tip that it has in the picture. The one that's on it, uh, let me see if I can capture a picture of it from where I am. Let me see here. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, see, you see the, uh, it's got a tip that has uh, uh, a chrome or whatever on the back. Well, I, I kind of wish I had the all black. I, I really didn't want the chrome tip like that on the end. Uh, you know, I have the license plate with the eagle on there, the, the, the frame around the license plate that's the chrome or whatever. So it, it kind of goes with that, I guess. But uh, I would like to have had the, the tip that was in the picture when I ordered it, and this did not come with that. Uh, that's my only complaint with this. But, you know, it, I guess you can't have everything. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, so that's that. And any questions, comments, uh, thoughts, whatever, just uh, hit me up and uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, y'all have a good evening, night, day, whatever it is. Later.